It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> The end of the day, bro. I'm I'm in hip hop. I'm a white guy, and I'm talking a whole lot. Are of Are you shit. white? I didn't know you was white, bro. Yeah, well, I'm I found you were white. The Sicilian. end of 2019. Sicilian. That's yeah. Right, yeah, you're the blackest white. I agree. Well, Sicilian. <laughs> I mean, Sicilians, Italians, Italians nah, yeah, are off white, white though. But this is the off white of off white. Italians don't even like to be called white, bro. But the Sicilians, they got a little black in them. Well, if you go back to the Moors and the Moors were out there, yeah. <clears> not okay. asking permission. Yeah. That's no, a real, like, that's when you do the ancestry on it, it's like the Moors came to Sicily, took over. That's why Italians went from blonde hair, blue eyes, to dark hair, dark mm -hmm. eyes. But the perception, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, but. White guy, no, long like, hair. And yeah. The, yeah, and that's what it is. And so I understand it's like, yo, like, let's just call it what it is. Culture is a euphemism for black. Urban is a euphemism for black. So when you have a white guy coming into the culture, a black space, trying to speak on black things, mm -hmm. it's like, bro. Shut up. You might be right, but we don't want to hear it from you, which I absolutely understand and I get. So that's mm -hmm. why nah, I've seen I'm not you tripping. Post, I've seen you post posts that I've commented on like, yeah, I'm glad Russ said yeah. that. I can't remember the exact post what it was. It was something about... Everybody mm -hmm. should say the N-word or something? No, shut up. It's about Jesus white Christ. artists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nigerian. That's what. Yeah, white, <laughs> white artists and culture. It was something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Mm. Everybody gave you props for that, though. Probably about how I was talking about... Um, just label owners are these white guys Boom. who that's what it was who sign black kids that they wouldn't even want their kids hanging out exactly. with but they just do it to make the money um which is true and that's why it's like you know white people historically steal from black culture right that's a fact so america was founded off of terrorism and thief <laughs> like so, so it's like so it's like old. I mean that's that's all cultures right I don't think there's any culture that was well just no like, but you gotta like you gotta look, look at, at the Roman Empire right they didn't do that but like, you gotta look at kindly. like even you gotta look at even how what the 2020 white girl wants to look like yeah yeah she yeah, wants to look yeah, cool yeah. no she wants to look black well black's that's defined what, cool th that's, yeah. that's that's what, what I'm saying attracted to cool like no but like the problem is that the yeah. same thing that black women will get uh, hindered from, which are just natural, beautiful black features. It won't be accepted. It's the, it's the same it. thing yeah. white people will use to sprinkle onto their whiteness to just look right. cooler. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. I guess. I guess what I, I think it, it we get lost in the uh, in the idea that black people are a monolith, right? Because not all black people are going to dress the same or look the same, etc. No. But cool is cool regardless, right? So like, sure. if you go to Korea, you're going to see a bunch of Korean kids. Dressing like black kids. Dressing black kids, doing fucking, what is it, yeah. break dancing? Sure. You know what I mean? Got cornrows. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, that's the cool culture. That's what we're Which, drawn to. I think, you know I, I mean? think, now I'm probably speaking a little bit out of turn, but I don't think black people have a problem with y'all doing that. I think it's more about they have a problem with if y'all are doing that and being accepted, then why when we do that, we get chastised for that. I think that's part of it. You also, know? um, not wanting people to revise history. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this was the genesis of this culture. This was the genesis of this music. It was rooted in blackness. And a lot of times we all know they like to rewrite history. And that's what it is. And that's why it's like, I understand that, you know, and that when I said like historically white people steal from black culture, like when you look at hip hop, hip hop was, you know, for us bias. It was black created and black right. owned and mm -hmm. it was created for black people. And so when you have somebody white coming into it, right. it's kind of like, here we go again. You know, and so I understand that it's delicate and it's and and until and if you're white in hip hop, you have to contribute to uh, black culture in some sort of fashion. Otherwise, you are simply repeating history by coming in to black culture, using that as a medium to steal and profit for self. Yeah, I think it's like anything else. You just got to you got to point where the originators point where your inspiration came from, like your yeah. inspiration came from. This black artist, that black artist. Right. That's it's just uh, to me. It's just like by paying homage. To be honest, no, that's cool. But you also, I think it's also about the music. You can't come into this from the vessel of hip hop and use the clothes and the language and the music, and then go off and start doing something. It's white. weird. To Are you talking about Post Malone? Uh, no. I mean, I think sounds very posty. No, nah, but I think that's like I think that's a fair example because I do think that that's. It's an interesting thing to look at from that lens of where, you know, you come in with braids and golds to the point people are thinking you're mixed. And now, you know, 
you drink Bud Light and wear cowboy boots and stuff, <laughs> which is like cool. like your music's phenomenal. I think Post Malone's music is phenomenal, but I think I think the caricature of how it came in compared to where it is oh, now yeah, seems I mean, a little seems a little it's a little interesting. interesting. It was White Iverson. He was white again. Yeah, it's just you it, know what I'm saying. White yeah. Iverson was his first song. Yeah, like, it's just but he it's got just out interesting. Of there, but he but he but makes it was smart. For the thing him is, the thing is, he he makes great music. You know, yeah. he makes great music and he's super talented. But yeah, I just think certain things like that. You know, those are fair critiques as far as like, yo, it feels like you came in and used hip hop because it's the coolest genre and the coolest look and aesthetic. You used it to propel yourself to the forefront, and then you reverted back to who you really were. You know, which I and, and shit on hip hop in the process. Yeah, you know? so I I think that's a fair critique, but um, I, th that's why I feel like for me, I just think it's gonna be time. And as far as like, man, Russ has been putting out quality hip hop. Like I feel like I do hip hop justice. I don't um, I don't make a mockery of it. I don't portray any negative stereotypes. I don't feed into it. Like I could go and put post myself in the Gucci store spending 30K mm. because even though Gucci's racist, I'm white, they're not racist to me, so I could do it. But at the same time, if I'm in hip hop culture, which is black culture and Gucci's being racist, I can't be in the Gucci store blowing so 30K. you feel responsibility I do, to the black culture. Because yeah. otherwise it's just like, oh, so you get to eat off of hip hop culture, but when someone is being disrespectful towards it, you're like, no, that they're not being disrespectful towards me, I'm white. Yeah, so even when you see other black artists still wearing Gucci and stuff, you'll still say, nope, I'm not going to do it. I can't, yeah, because yeah, yeah. then it just looks like, mm. it looks like it's all pros and no cons for you. You know, so I just think you got to just be aware of what's going on. I just feel like I do hip hop justice by speaking uh, about the ownership of what needs to happen, because I also think that the solution to young, um, disadvantaged uh, black kids getting taken advantage of mm. by white label owners. Lack of information. Is lack of information mm. and the solution is ownership. The mm -hmm. solution is is owning your music, putting it out, the internet, having your fans, shooting the videos, da, 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 going on tour. Like you don't have to deal with them, but the solution is ownership. Um, so I just think, I just think that I do do hip hop justice. I have a message like, and I've said it before, like y'all talk about you know, which is fine. Spending thirteen thousand dollars in the Gucci store, I brag about thirteen thousand hard tickets, mm. and I feel like if that makes me arrogant, then I suggest you move the goalposts. Because why is thirteen thousand dollars in a Gucci store towards a company who doesn't like black people? Mm. Why is that received so much better than somebody saying you should be bragging about selling thirteen thousand tickets? Do question. you guys think? Question: Do you guys think in the future, like? Rap music will just become so synonymous with American culture that someone like you won't feel like an outsider in it in the same way that like oh, I think it's there now. basketball is so synonymous with American culture. Like, I don't think it's a bad thing to feel like an outsider. I think that's white people's problem. Here's the problem with white people. Right. Like <laughs> everything about everything, white people are included in everything. Hip hop's right. the one thing and saying the N-word is the thing that they're not included in and they feel just like disgusted Stupid and offended. Stupid hill to die on. And it's yeah. like, right. it's like, yo, for once, yeah. you know what? Yeah, this isn't for you. It's not by you. And that's what it is. And it's okay to feel like an outsider. Like minorities have been the outsider to everything forever. So you know right. what? If hip hop is the one thing where white people are the outsiders in, I don't know if that balance should shift. I'm fine with being the outsider. I just want to contribute in a positive way. And I do want my credit for contributing in a positive way. Now, I would understand, right, if I came into this face tatted, rock, like wearing the hip hop costume, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, face tatted and I'm talking about this type of shit and I'm doing this. Just, you know, if I was on that type of aesthetic, but. Right. Uh, I'm not a gimmick. I'm not making a mockery of hip hop or black culture. I'm trying to do it justice by, uh, you know, staying true to the message of hip hop, which I think is is underdog and freedom and ownership. And I just think that, you know, I'm cool with being an outsider as long as it's acknowledged that I am trying to help. If you, if you won a Grammy, say it was in the best, what is it, hip hop rap category, whatever. Yeah. If you wanted the one Tyler one, would you be upset? No, because I feel like the music that I make is hip-hop music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, Did you see what Tyler said? I do, but he, t- Tyler's spot on. And okay, I've talk al- to me. I've always said, too, that I just said it in this interview, too, that culture in urban is a euphemism. Mm-hmm. So that, like, white corporate people, when you go to the label meetings and it's all these white guys who play softball on Sundays and they're like, you know, our urban department, it's like, say what you really mean, you know? Urban is just another word. I think they the used same. to. And then people were like, stop saying that. <laughs> so like, well, we got to think of something. Started, started with that word. And they were like, whoa, chill the fuck out. But white people are Is there another open. word with an N in it? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe with the N at the end. Yeah. 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 Yeah.